Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning a tune called Bill Cheatham. And uh, before we start, I do want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. It is because of those who are giving back to this endeavor that everyone can see these videos and watch these videos at their leisure and free without any kind of subscription or any kind of payment. So I want to thank them first and foremost, and to those who would consider becoming patrons and helping this work. Uh, so thank you for that. For that, Also, thank you to those who are sharing these videos, who are recommending them, who are recommending me as a workshop presenter and performer at uh, banjo camps and at workshops and festivals uh, in your area. So thank you for that. So uh, this is in, we're in G tuning. And uh, I'm not sure if this would be considered a bluegrass or an old time tune. But uh, it's not a hard tune, and uh, I think a, a beginner could be able to do mostly everything that we're going to be doing here. And if you understand some of the triple thumbing, you won't have any trouble at all. So we're going to start on the fourth string. You're going to hit that, and then the second string twice with the hesitation. You're going to take your middle finger and you're going to do a slide from two to four with the hesitation. Slide to four, bring it back to two, do a pull off and hit that third string again. And that time, I didn't even hit the, the third string the second time. I just did the hesitation. So make sure that's memorized. Then you're going to make a C chord. And you're, you're kind of doing the same thing. Fourth string, second string twice. Hesitation. You're going to lift up the ring finger, do a hammer on. Hesitation on the fifth, second string, and then hit that third string. Hesitation. So from the beginning. Then you repeat that first phrase. Not hard at all. And then you're going to do two slides. So slide two to four on the third string with hesitation, pull off. Then you're going to take your ring finger and go to that fourth string, fourth fret, and then third string. Hesitation. Again. Sorry. First phrase, second phrase, third phrase, fourth phrase. I'm playing it faster. I'm, I'm getting a little fancier with things. Let me do it again. So that is part A. Not hard at all. Um, part B, we are going to do some drop thumb. And here's what I'd like you to practice before you ever attempt 
part B. You're going to take your, your middle or index. I use my middle on the first string. Your thumb's hitting the second string. Then that middle or index is hitting the first string and then the fifth string with your thumb. Which is drop thumb. So you're going to play that open, G. You're going to make a C chord do that same thing. Now, what you're playing next is a D chord, but the way you're going to do this, you're not, you're not going to actually make a D chord. You're going to take that C chord and slide it up two frets. So, open, C, slide up two frets, then up to the fifth string with your ring, hesitation. Again. Here's your next little phrase. Starts the same way. So open C. And here's what you're doing there. You're hitting the first string. Your thumb's hitting the second string. Your index or middle, whatever you use, is hitting the third string open and then you're going to fret that third string of the second fret and then open or with the hesitation sorry about that so it's so here's your second phrase Your third phrase is the same as the first, but let's play that together. Here's, here's your first phrase. Third phrase, same as the first. And then your ending to part B is the same as the ending to part A. So let me play it all the way through for you from the beginning at a slow speed. Repeat it. Part B. And here's up to speed. So there you have Bill Cheatham. Uh, it's a very fun tune to play, very easy to play, 
and uh, take your time. If it if it's hard for you, uh, you just you'll get it. It's but it's mechanically it's not hard what I'm having you do. Uh, you just need to get used to the drop thumb and maybe the triple thumbing a little bit. So have fun with the tune. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for the kind words of encouragement. And we will see you very soon on our next lesson.